Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to send data to our data channel of our WebRTC clients. So to do that, let's go to main repository and create a function called send text to data channel. It will get a text of type string and all it does just calls another function send buffer to data channel and it will get a buffer of type data channel dot buffer and using our data channel object that is derived from our webrtc client we just send the buffer to it and using this send buffer to data channel you can simply create a data channel dot buffer and using bytes buffer dot wrap and give the text to byte array and as a binary we just pass false to it uh, not here to the data channel buffer like this and in case of receiving this byte buffer which will be triggered from this function let's go back to our main activity here we can convert it back to a simple text like this well data is equal to byte array it's dot data that's remaining and using it dot data dot get and pass data to it so we write our incoming buffer to our data and simply just convert the data to a string so let's say well text data string is equal to string object and get the data to it and as the encoder we will pass char sets and utf8 so using run on ui thread we will set this to our use dot receive text the text is equal to text data string okay so right now we want to send uh, text using that method inside my main repository so let's check if sending text edit text is empty we want to create a toast that will send text edit text and then return from unclick listener but if it's not empty we want to send string uh, main repository send text to data channel and get the sending send text string object and send it to the other guy and also set it back so let's run our application again and also do not forget to start your signaling server using npm start command okay so let's go back to our emulator let's log in as child and login as parent just like that let's call child accepts the connection and send some text text from parent and as you can see there's a text derived here and text from child so you can see it goes both way but what if we want to send an image or a file uh, through the data channel i mean you can convert it to the byte buffer but how will you get notified that hey there is a image coming next or there is a text coming next or there is a file coming next so we do have to create a metadata and send it before our main file that is being transferred so to do that uh, i'll create a helper class called data converter but let's move to the next video and start creating the data converter class so we can create a metadata about the file and then send it to the other peer. So till the next video, see you everyone.